I'm a retired art teacher, high school art teacher, taught here at Millard High School for 30 years. Um, uh, because it was a, it's a small high school, so I had to teach a lot of different types of art. Pottery is one of them. And uh, I took a pottery class in, in college, graduated from BYU. My first teaching job was here at Millard, and my last job was here, here at Millard, so top, my whole career was here at Millard High. Pottery made on the wheel is called uh, thrown pottery, wheel thrown pottery. And there's just a few basic tools that you need. Really all you need is your hands and some water and the clay. And the key to working on the wheel is is keeping your hand, your arms braced and your legs on the splash pan here. And then once it's centered, it's pretty close. <clears throat> I'm gonna do what's called opening. So brace everything and then there's different ways of doing this, but the, the basics are all the same. Go down to the center until you get close to the bottom. You leave about a half an inch thickness on the base. And then you open it up a little more. So the first thing that a potter has to learn to do when they're first starting out is, is uh, making a cylinder. And once you can make a cylinder, and then you can make just about anything else. The one key with uh, throwing on the wheel is applying pressure gradually and releasing pressure gradually. I'm just going to show what the cylinder looks like. And you trim off the base with a wooden tool like this. The nice thing about clay is you can reuse it. Uh, if you foul up, you just you can reuse it until it's been fired. You can reuse it, recycle it. So that's what you're trying to achieve is fairly even thickness walls. About like that, a little bit thicker base because that will be trimmed later on to make it a little thinner. Uh, for example, here, there's a base you can see where it's been trimmed and down a little bit. You, you trim the inner part of the base a little bit lower than the outside edge so that it'll sit flat without rocking. I'm, I'm one of the uh, chairmen of the Old Capital Arts and Living History Festival. I'm in charge of the uh, arts and crafts booths, so I organize that and do all the check-in and registration and everything for that. 